My name is Caitlin Potts. I'm the Visitor Services Assistant of Tours at Palace Green Library, home of Durham University's Special Collections. Palace Green Library is a special place to visit, first of all because of its location. It's actually situated in the heart of Durham World Heritage Site. It's nestled between Durham Cathedral and Durham Castle in a really beautiful atmospheric setting. It's also special because it houses Durham University's special collections, so students, members of the public and academics are still doing research and learning from books and documents which are hundreds of years old. This is our temporary exhibition space where we have a rolling programme of exhibitions throughout the year. If you visit between the 9th of June and the 8th of October 2018, you can see our Bodies of Evidence exhibition. In these beautiful surroundings, a really dark discovery was uncovered in 2013. During the construction of the cafe, there was a mass grave uncovered on the site. Archaeologists from the university's world-class Department of Archaeology uncovered the truth about the identity of the skeletons in the mass grave through a combination of detailed scientific analysis and historical research. And they were discovered to be the remains of Scottish soldiers buried here after being held prisoner after the Battle of Dunbar in 1650. The Scottish army was defeated by Cromwell's army and then forced to march to Durham where they were imprisoned in the then empty and unused cathedral. We don't know exact figures for the amount of soldiers who were buried in Durham, but estimates suggest that of the 3,000 held prisoner, 1,700 of them died here. The team have gone on to discover more about soldiers using cutting-edge scientific techniques, learning how they lived, died, what they ate, their general health, and even what one of them looked like using facial reconstruction techniques. This is Durham, this is history. Come and visit Palace Green Library this summer and see our Bodies of Evidence exhibition and make your own history.